What's up guys, PG here, hope you have a wonderful day. Today I'm gonna to give you some big news and some big updates on the HCMC stock. You've been asking about it in the comments, so I decided to make a video about it. Before I talk about the stock, be sure to subscribe, turn on the post notifications on so you don't miss any videos, and let's jump right into it. Before we talk about the big news, let's take a quick look at the graph of HCMC. Yesterday it ended at 0.0035, last Friday they ended at 0.0042, so the stock lost 0.0010 in one week. A big reason for the loss is that the market saw two red days yesterday and on Thursday. We can see that uh, on Tuesday we had a big spike around 0.054. We had another big spike on Wednesday and then Thursday it went down and Friday it went down again. So two big red days on Friday and on Thursday. That's a big reason why it went down. I had some people ask me is it too late to get in HCMC if I want to make some gains and in my opinion right now is the perfect time. I would say it's even better to get at 0 0.030, 0 0.0025, that's the perfect buying point because in my opinion I can see HCMC go to 0 0.010, 0 0.015 without a problem. Now the danger zone with the stock is if the stock goes down to 0 0.0010, that's the danger zone, that's the zone you don't want to be in. If you see it go down to 0 0.0010, you don't want to invest because that means that the stock is over, it's going to get too hard to reach new highs and make some profit. So don't get in if it's 0 0.0010, that's the danger zone. If we take a look at bar short, bar short recommends to buy HCMC 96% yesterday. Last week was also 96%, last month 40%. Stock tweets, we can see that 70,000 people are watching the HCMC stock. So that's really exciting. There is a big demand for the stock. There's still a lot of people talking about it, watching the stock. So this one, when there's a high demand, will reach in price without a problem. Now let's talk about the big news and big updates on HCMC. To give you some context, HCMC on November 30th filed a lawsuit against Philip Morris for patent infringement. The patent infringement is for the IQOS product. It's one of the best selling products from Philip Morris. We can see that Philip Morris had 14.6 million users for the IQOS product. That's a good news for HCMC. If they win the lawsuit, they will get a big market, which will increase the revenue, which will increase the price of the stock. Even better news is that in 2020, IQOS was 23.8% of Philip Morris's revenue, which was about $6.8 billion. So 20.8% is about $1.5 billion on the IQOS alone. If the $1.5 billion of revenue can go to HCMC in 2021, that could mean a big spike in the stock price of HCMC and could put the stock price to 0.10 without a problem. The second great news for HCMC is that they recently put out their SEC fillings and we can see here that the CEO Jeffrey Holman has bought 1.1 billion shares of HCMC. We can see that the COO Christopher Senti has bought 800 million shares and there are also two other ones who bought also millions of shares. Now is that a good thing or a bad thing for us who own the HCMC stock? In my opinion it's good news and a good sign that those executives are buying billions of shares Maybe they're confident that they will win the lawsuit. Maybe they plan on expanding after the lawsuit. Maybe they're seeing something that we don't see that they will announce soon. But overall, it's a great sign and great news that they have bought billions of shares. Now on the downside, if they start selling their shares in the next couple of weeks, that can be some bad news. So that will be for us to see, to assess the situation and see what we do at that moment. But right now we know that they bought the shares. So that's great news. The third and last great news on HCMC is that I recently discovered that they have a lot of different patterns. It's not just one pattern that Philip Morris infringed. They are working on different patterns. They're working on a whole range of patterns that will have a big impact on people's life in the future. So that's a really great sign. That's a really great news and a really great sign to invest. The best thing that can happen for us investors and for HCMC is that they win the lawsuit. They get all the revenue in 2021-2022 for the IQOS. The revenue increases 1.52 billion. The price stock increases to 0.12 and we'll make some great gains, we'll be happy. That's the best case scenario. Last thing that I really like and that's really important about HGMC is that they have a big demand. There are a lot of people talking about it on Twitter, on Reddit, on stock tweets, on Instagram, on YouTube. Everyone talks about HGMC. So, so there's a big demand around HGMC. And if you look on Google Trends, we can see here that there was a big spike four days ago, three days ago, once again, a big spike, two days ago, a big spike, one day ago, a big spike. So there is a big demand for HMC. A lot of people are looking at the stock. A lot of people are buying the stock. That means that the stock price will go up. And the best case scenario, if they win the lawsuit and if big investors start to invest like Cathy Wood, like Renaissance Technologies, if we see some big investors investing, that would be a great sign because that means that the stock price will go up and we'll see 0 0.12, 0 0.15 without a problem. The question of the day comes from Don't Talk who asks which app is the best for investing in Europe. That's a question that I get a lot. A lot of people ask what's the best app to use in US, what's the best app to use in Europe, which app do I use. 
in my personal case I use Trading212 for my personal opinion it's the most beautiful looking one and the easiest to use right now there's a big waiting list so it's hard to get in I've seen that there's also eToro in Europe that's easy to use and where you can make an account quick I tried to make an account on eToro and in one hour I think my account was ready and I was ready to invest so eToro Trading212 in Belgium there's also Bug0 that's also a great app but I don't think they have a lot of penny stocks on there. That's the three apps I'm familiar with in Europe. For the US, the most popular ones are Robinhood and Webull. It's the one that I hear the most talked about. They're the most popular ones. I don't know if they're the best ones, but they're the ones that I know from the US. Robinhood, Webull. If you live in Europe, I would suggest you to, to go to Trading212. But as there's a big waiting list, maybe try eToro. And when the waiting list is over, you can go to Trading212. You can have both, whatever fits best for you. Before I finish today's video, I wanted to answer another quick question. Someone asked me how our 1000 euros portfolio is doing. And that's a good time right now because it's the end of the week. We can do a weekly recap. If you don't know, we made a YouTube for if you don't know, we made a YouTube portfolio where we try to reach 100,000 euros, $100,000. And I have another one, a little private one. This one I started before the YouTube channel where I put a thousand dollars a thousand euros and i try to put it and i try to get it to ten thousand to one million so this one right here we invested thousand two hundred thirty euros which is about one thousand five hundred dollars it's in euros because i'm in europe we're up 25.54 percent 314 euros last two days we're in the red but we're still in the green so that's a positive sign airbnb we're in the green boeing we're in the red delta airlines we're in the green 11 percent DraftKings, we're in the green, 23%. DraftKings is one of my favorites. I will keep this one for the long term. Electro vehicles in the red. Fuel cell energy, we're in the green, 122% in the green. It's one of our best performing stocks. We only got eight shares, but we have. it's one of the best performing stocks that we have. Edex, we're in the green. This one, we're up 14%. Mesa Air, up 80% in the green. Neo, up 80% in the green. OEG were up 300%. That's one of the best performance stocks of all my portfolios. I invested in that one. Let me take a look. When it was at $1.80, right now it's at 7.8. So we made almost X8 in that one. That's perfect. That's some really nice performance stocks. Palantir were in the red, a little bit in the red, 1%. Roku were in the green, 16%. Southwest, line, Southwest Airlines, 8% in the, in the green. Tesla, 40% in the green and XPeng 40% in the red. Now, you can see that we have some really great gains with those ones. I plan on putting more in that one, but I, I focus mainly on the 50,000 one, on the 100,000 portfolio, YouTube portfolio, but uh, I will begin to, to put more money in the 2,200 one, maybe put five to 6,000 more. But if you want to know which one I keep on planning for the long term, Airbnb, I plan on keeping for the long term, Boeing, long term, Delta Airlines, long term, Boeing and Delta Airlines or those ones for the pandemic, those ones I'm going to sell when the pandemic is over. When those ones will jump up in price, I'm going to sell, I'm going to take my profits. DraftKings, I'm going to also keep for one to two years because people are betting by the day. People are betting more and more by the day. More and more people start betting. More and more states are legalizing betting. So I'm going to keep this one for one to two years. Electromechanica vehicles, I'm going to see how this one does. I only have one share, so it's okay. Fuel cell energy. I'm gonna to begin to, to sell some parts because I saw that we had some big dips this week. We can see that we went from 25 to 20. So once we're in the green again, I'm gonna to begin to take some profits because 122 in the green, that's a lot. So I'm gonna to begin to take some profits. Edex, I'm gonna keep that one. Mesa Air, I'm gonna keep that one for the long term. Neo, 8%, I'm gonna keep that one also for the long term. OEG, long term. Palantir, long term, and I like Palantir because we got in this one three to four months ago. And right now I've seen that ARK Invest and Catwood are getting in it, so that's a great sign. Roku, I'm gonna keep for the long term. Southwest Airlines until two to three months. Tesla for the long term. XPeng, I'm gonna see how this one recovers, but this one will also be with the long term with the EV play. So that's our YouTube portfolio. We invested 1,230 euros and we're up 25%. Some really nice gains. I'm gonna plan on, I'm planning on putting more I'm planning on putting more in that one. So in conclusion, the stock price of HCMC can double without a problem if they win the lawsuit. If they win the lawsuit, we can see the price go to 0.12 without a problem. Remember that everything I said in this video is for entertainment purposes only. If you enjoyed, you can leave a like, subscribe so you don't miss anything, and I'll see you in the next one.